watching. you guys and girls through this entire upper body session followed by a footy session. We started off with some PVC dislocations into PVC twists to really warm up the upper body, specifically the upper back, the chest, the shoulders, as well as the spine before getting into our session. I know this is boring to watch sometimes, but I show it constantly because it's so, so, so important to prime and prepare your body well so you can perform well in the session. Like I always say, the importance of a proper warm up helps you prevent injury and helps you perform better. We're in the gym, we're on the field to perform better, to get better, to make adaptations. If we're not making adaptations, what's the point? So I do this stuff, I show you guys and girls this stuff because I really want you to take it in and take action on it and do it before every single session. No matter what type of session you're doing, I want to make sure that you do at least a five to 10 minute warm up. Then we got into the session. So it's a bit of legs, bit of upper body. Upper body is the main focus. As you see, we started off with a weighted single leg glute bridge into some single leg line hops. This is really good to get your body active, turn your mind and your body on and help out with your fast feet. As you see, I'm on the ball of my foot the entire time. I start slowly as usual, get my rhythm and coordination, and then try to go as intensely as possible while keeping my technique, while keeping my stability and my balance. This is really good to work on your transfer of your center of mass. Then I went into some dumbbell incline presses. Right now in the off season, I'm on four to five sets. Wonder if they'll try to copyright me for that. I don't think so, homies. So like I said, I'm on a lot of volume in the off season, really trying to build some strength overall. So that's why I'm on about four to five sets for about four to eight reps, mostly in the six rep range. Then I moved on to some wide grip chin-ups. I go for five sets, about 10 to 12 reps. I usually start off my first set with 12 reps, then go to 12 again, then hit 11, then I'm down to 10, and then I'm in the nines and the eights on the last couple sets. So just wanna push yourself here. Then I moved into dips. I do three sets of 15 reps. I try to go as low as possible. This is also really good for shoulder mobility. People say not to go below parallel, but the guys that I trust say it's absolutely fine. Then I move into a one-arm dumbbell row trying to be as explosive as possible here. Row that to basically my rib section. And yeah, that's about it. Then I moved on to some push-ups. This is the last finisher, three sets of 30 reps. So this is what we're looking like. Overnight protein oats, half a banana, a little bit of Greek yogurt. Let's get it. After eating that oatmeal and digesting, we are on to the best session of the day with my guy, Thibaut Molinati. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. Top class guy, originally from France, moved to Sweden six years ago, and now runs one of the best one-on-one -on -one individual technical training businesses in Sweden. If you're Swedish, please reach out to him. I'm gonna put his link below in the bio. He's a top class guy, which is the most important, and also he knows what he's doing. So we started off with some speed, agility, quickness stuff. As you saw there, a couple patterns, and I'm basically at 65, 70%. As I said before, I did a dynamic warm up before, and then we got straight into it. So as you guys and girls will see, this turf isn't the greatest. I'll actually say it's one of the worst I've trained in in a while. There's no give to the surface. So the ball's very bouncy and it's very hard. So as you can see, I don't, cut as hard as I would on grass or good turf because I just don't want to injure myself and I'm just trying to be smart about it. I have a big season coming up. So yeah, just trying to be smart as I always tell you guys and girls, be smart, listen to your body and do not overdo it. So as you see, 
really getting into it, did some speed agility stuff on the ladder to get the mind going, get the feet working, get the body going. And then we moved into some cuts, some changes of direction, got some touches on the ball. So this one, he played me the ball. He would say the color. I would have to touch that ball to the color, then touch that ball around the mannequin, get over the hurdle, one touch ball, turn, play that ball back and return. Really good warm up, like I said, to just get myself going for the session. And we did about six total patterns here. It was about 15 to 20 minutes, which was really good to get my grounding on this surface. The next thing we did is we moved on to a heading specific drill. So what I would do was touch the mannequin, Thibaut would throw that ball up, I'm trying to get up and play a header back to his hands or just a strong header over him or to the ground. This is something that I really want to work on this off season. I'm gonna be trying to win or need to be winning a lot of 50-50 balls, so it's a main focus. Then we went into some first touch stuff. Started very simple, as you see there, there's an iPad behind me. We started all one touch, and as I would play that ball, as I would check out as a center midfielder, I would look over my shoulder. So on that left side, I'm looking over my right shoulder. On that right side, I'm looking over my left shoulder. Then we moved into something very similar, but we're just doing two touch. So I'm calling the color, I'm taking that touch with me inside with that front leg. So I'm opening up my hips, opening up my body, playing that ball, staying there, playing one touch balls, and then moving on. Like I said before, the ground was bouncy, but I had to deal with it. Now we're moving on to one, two, and three touches. And as I said there, the color is gonna dictate my action. So I'm trying to take a touch inside and then I'm turning. So this is the pattern, take a touch inside and turning if I see red. If I see yellow or blue, I'm playing that ball back. So last drill of the day here was shooting. So same exact thing, that heading drill that we did before, but just implementing a more complex topic of shooting. Something I also want to work on this off season is shooting outside the 18, because as a center midfielder, I'm either going to get that ball dropped back off to me, off of a corner if I'm hanging on the D, or see, goal's a goal. So on the corner, if I'm hanging on the D, like I said, getting that ball played back, maybe from an outside back, my winger. So I just want to perfect this. Like I said before, you want to try to work on the things that you're going to be doing in a game, your most common actions. I honestly wasn't the most comfortable on the surface planting. So I really couldn't do a full strike, a proper strike of the ball. As you see, most of my shots are with the inside part of my foot because I felt weird on my knees. So as I always say, listen to your body, don't overdo it. We played some crossbar challenge here. Unfortunately, the man Thibaut won and I had to clean up the balls. But yes, like I said, listen to your body, be smart and be careful. 
Simple as ever for a late lunch. We got a rotisserie chicken. We got some salad. I'm gonna throw this in a wrap. And it's simple. Simple and easy. I usually never recommend this, but really all I have time for right now. So ladies and gents, as simple as it gets. Gluten-free wrap, chicken, a little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of salsa, greens, and that's it. This is what we got for dessert. All the Swedes will know it's called kvarg, high protein, a little bit of yogurt snack. Watching a little bit of impulsive. Let's get it. What's good, homies? How we doing? As you saw, I got an excellent session with my boy Thibaut out at the pitch over there. Sorry that I got gum in my mouth. Want to refresh my breath after a good meal. As you see, it's already dark out. I think it's only like 4:30. Gets super dark here in Sweden. It was a great session, as I said, with my boy. I'm gonna do some work right now. One of my good friends, actually one of my college friends, is coming to visit me. He's actually playing football and knee shopping right now where I used to play, so he's coming to visit me in Stockholm. We're gonna have a night out, probably grab some dinner, chill out, enjoy ourselves. That's what it's all about. So I'm gonna take you guys along the journey. I love going out, getting good food, spending time with good people and good conversations. There's nothing like it, so let's enjoy. 